it's Gia here. Welcome to another episode of Debt Free Friday, my absolute favorite segment on my channel. And today we're gonna talk about how to lower your cable and internet bill. At least I'm gonna talk about what, what has worked for me and what um, has worked for uh, DirecTV in particular and Comcast. Those are the two providers that we currently have. Um, DirecTV for our cable and um, Comcast for our internet. Now I do want to say that if you are really gazelle intense, and when I say gazelle intense, I mean you are sick and tired of being sick and tired, I mean you are ready to be debt free, I would definitely suggest cutting cable out altogether. I mean it, it saves so much money in the long run if you're really trying to become debt free and it's a close like short term goal of yours, I highly suggest cutting out uh, cable altogether and just streaming online. Now, internet is something, you know, if you're really, really dedicated and you feel like you can live without the internet, then you can cut that. But I would say 95% of you probably aren't because you're watching YouTube, right? <laughs> right now, you need the internet for that. So that's just a preface to say that if you are really, really dedicated to becoming debt free, you know, you should maybe think about cutting your cable altogether. But if you're not, and say you're just wanting to save some extra money and you feel like you're just spending too much, I'm gonna tell you what has worked for me to cut our cable bill down from $180 to $110 and what and cutting our uh, internet from $75 to $35. So this is what works. First of all, you have to be, and I'm sorry if you see me looking down, I'm looking at my notes. First of all, you have to be current with your payment and have good payment history. This will not work if you aren't, you know, faithful with your payments and you pay them on time, regardless if you feel like there's something wrong with your bill or whatever, just go ahead and pay it, pay it so that you have good payment history because they probably aren't gonna be willing to work with you if you don't, okay? Another thing, be nice. Okay, don't call if you're in a bad mood or if you just opened your bill up and you're like, what the heck is this? Why is it so expensive? Why is it going up? Especially with DirecTV. I mean, they love to upcharge you. Um, make sure you're in a good mood because it's not gonna work. You have to be nice, you know, because the people on the other end aren't gonna want to help you if you're not. Third, know your options, okay? Be prepared to let them know what your competitors are offering you. I mean, if you're with DirecTV, then, you know, Uverse, even though AT&T and DirecTV are, um, merging or have merged, I should say. Um, but if you're with um, DirecTV, let them know what um, Dish is offering you. Let them know uh, what Comcast is offering you for cable. Just let them know and have um, your flyers ready to let them know what your competitors are. And even if they're not, even if your competitors are not offering you anything right now, just let them know that you have options and that um, you know, you're willing to jump ship if you need to, okay? And the fourth and final piece is be prepared to threaten to cut your service off, okay? Trust me, they are going, they want to save you. It's more expensive for them to lose a customer than it is to gain a customer. So they want you to keep, stay, you know, they want you to stay as opposed to just cutting your service altogether. And they will, if you hold on to that threat until the very last department they transfer you to, they will offer you the best deals nine out of the 10 times, okay? So those are the four things that you have to have to do and be aware of um, before you even attempt this, okay? So now I'm gonna show you what the conversation needs to be to go like. Pick up the phone, dial the number, ask to speak to billing or somebody about your bill, and you just be nice and say, well, you know what? I'm sorry, but this is just too much that I'm, I'm just not comfortable paying this much for cable or for, you know, I, I just don't want to spend $180 for cable each month. It's just ridiculous. And I just wonder if there's anything that you can do to help me to get my bill down. At this point, they're listening to you. They want to know, okay, well, what are you comfortable paying? Be honest about what you're comfortable paying. I mean, it's not that you can't be ridiculous and say, I'm only comfortable paying $5. I mean, come on, you got to work with them a little bit. But if your bill is like, a hundred bucks, say, well, you know, honestly, I'm only comfortable paying 50 or 60. Trust me, those that 50 or $40 that you're saving adds up throughout the whole year, okay? So tell them what you're, what you're comfortable spending and see if they can work with you here. They'll probably say, hold on a second or let me talk to my manager. Let them talk to your manager and just, like I said, be courteous, that's the number one thing. Just tell them I'm not comfortable paying this and honestly, especially for cable, if you say, well, you know what? 
everybody's streaming online now. Netflix offers everything. Between Netflix, Hulu, PlayStation View, and Fire Stick, there's too many options to stream online to pay a lot of money for um, cable. So you need to tell them that. And then that's when they'll really tell, try to, to help you or try to keep you in any way. And for Comcast, um, if you say, well, you know, AT&T is offering me this streaming service right now and it just seems so much more affordable than what you're offering me. Is there anything that you can do to lower my bill? I'd rather stay, and the key word is, you have to say, I'd rather stay with you guys than, you know, change providers. But if they're, if the providers are offering, if another provider is offering me something better, I'm going to have to go ahead and cancel my service. They will be willing to lower your bill, trust me. That's it guys, let me know. Have you, any of you ever tried this? Have any of you ever tried to lower your bill at any point in time for your utilities, especially cable and internet? Let me know if it works, okay? Let me know if you try this and if it works and what you've tried in the past. Um, if you haven't hit that subscribe button, hit that button down below and um, check me out on all my other social media platforms all listed down below. Thank you guys for watching, commenting, and subscribing and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.